Golden Arm, because you're good at what you do. Hey, listen, guys, here's one of my secrets. At the end of the day, or maybe twice throughout the day, this is what I like to do. I like the cooler. Stick my hands in there for about 15 seconds. And what I'm doing is pretty much giving my hand an ice bath. I'm not gonna go into the scientific theories behind it, but it's good for your joints. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Feels good. But in the long run, save those hands, those million dollar hands. Keep you from getting arthritis, keep you from getting anything like carpal tunnel, wrist, forearm, it's good all the way around. So that's a little secret of mine. Try it. It'll work for you. It'll work for you. End of the day. Seven days. Ooh, man, I'm not that tired, to be honest. I'm not that tired this particular week, but hey, when it started, man, it was, it was, it was a little bit unbearable. Going into that sixth day, you get a little irritable, and uh, and uh, I laugh because I mean, when you think about what we get paid to spend all these hours at work, I mean, forget being irritable. I'm more grateful than anything to have the ability to be able to work and uh, make this type of money and provide for you know my family and myself. But yeah, yeah. Man, I'm um. Oh, you got it. Yeah, so again, like I said, I'm more so grateful than, you know, being all cranky about being on these long hours. Because again, when you sit back and think about it, you know, it's a blessing to be able to uh, make this type of money and not necessarily have to go to school for a long period of time or uh, whatever avenue you went or took to get into this field. I mean, you can learn this stuff and three, six months, get good enough to be able to pass a test and, and make this type of money. Well, the next guys that been welding for, you know, 20, 30 years or more, or less. So, hey, just wanted to share that with y'all. I'm gonna let you meet a friend of mine. Super welder, right? Hey, Paul. He act like he been working. He ain't been doing nothing. Oh, you been working today? Huh? You been doing some work today? Yeah, Sleep. You are. Sleep. Ah. I'm on FaceTime. We'll leave. He said, "What's up?" Who? Lee. Let me see. He says, "What's up?" No, Lee. <laughs> nah, he don't like to be on camera. <laughs> well, yeah, we get ready to get out of here. We had a long, hot, and grueling day today. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to do what it do. And uh, as I always say, see y'all in the field. Okay, so I'm live in the field. And sometimes, as I mentioned on a lot of the other videos, things don't go your way. And the thing about it, when things don't go your way, it's not about what you want to do it's about what the job is requiring you to do so as a professional welder just like you guys are going to be hey sometimes you got to take things the way it comes hey they need to pipe up they want it done so right now we got schedule 10 pipe let's take a look at it schedule 10 pipe we run the schedule 10 pipe and we have a quarter inch gap yeah quarter inch 532 wire, quarter inch gap, and I'm going to put the root in. I'm going to put the root in. You can see I already got the root down there. You guys want to know how to put a root in quarter inch gap on schedule 10, stainless steel? Hey, tutorial. 
show you three different ways you can do it. But ask this guy. <laughs> Golden arm, because you're good at what you do. 